Utility software occupies a bit of a weird place in, it, in computers in that if you had a computer uh, that only had utility software and an operating system in it, it wouldn't actually be all that useful. You need application software to do something useful, but you need utility software sort of in the long run to keep your computer running well because utility software is all about maintaining your computer. It performs housekeeping tasks. And I'm going to go through a few of those different sort of tasks that it does each one in turn and sort of like talk about how and why it's necessary. The first thing we're going to look at, first piece of uh, utility software is a defragmenter. Okay, so this is all about how your hard drive, and it is hard drives rather than solid state drives that have this problem, how they get fragmented and how you defragment them, which is important. So um, here's a hard disk drive. Let's just think of that as a, as a nice long box. And we're going to install a few different games on it. So we've got three games installed of it. But can you imagine a world where you get, uh, I don't know, tired of Minecraft and you want to move on and you want to uninstall it? So you get rid of it. There, boom, gone. Right, next one. We're going to install instead Monster Hunter World, something like that. But for whatever reason, that's not taking up much space. And then we're going to install the latest Assassin's uh, Creed game. But this is a problem because we don't have enough space here. Um, to fit it in. So we're going to start part of it there uh, and then the other part of it um, after GTA. All right, we're going to show how this problem can sort of escalate now. So now I'm going to get rid of uh, Monster Hunter World, get rid of GTA, install one more game, and then we'll see we end up having to split it over three different parts of the hard disk. And this means my hard disk is getting fragmented, okay? It's getting fragmented over time. Just because I'm installing or creating files and then deleting them, it's ending up with it being fragmented. Why this is a problem is just because it takes a long time. I mean, a real age for a computer to move about on the hard disk. So everything slows down massively. If I'm playing the Outer Wilds and I've got to go from here to here and then from here to here all the time, it takes a very, very long time to go from here to here. It's just this disk has got to spin around. You've got that moving part in it. And the whole thing about magnetic hard disks is that they're slow anyway to, to have, try and find any, uh, any data on them. So big problem. It slows down your loading of uh, levels massively. It slows down the loading of files or maybe your operating system, which is also going to be in the hard disk as well. This fragmentation is a massive problem. So how do we solve it? We use a defragmenter. And a defragmenting software does this. It moves everything back together. So it really will just take each part of a uh, of a like a program like this, put them all back together, and then move them all back together, which means that no longer does your computer have to suddenly skip all over the place to find a file? They're all in one contiguous, it's called, so a continuous sort of space. Um, and that makes everything nice and simple and quick for the, the, the computer to read. Any free space after that is then left at the end of the hard disk as well. So all this free space is gathered together at the end, which means next time you install a program, it can all be installed in one nice uh, continuous space as well. So that's a defragmenter. And just to summarize that again, it's the idea that uh, files get fragmented over time as they are created and um, removed from the hard drive. And a defragmenter puts all those files back together again in a contiguous space with uh, the remaining free space at the end. Okay, so that's defragmentation. Let's move on a little bit. We're going to talk about backup software. So let me say this challenge. Can you tell me what backup software might do? Uh, without using the word backup, because that is often the challenge that a lot of people have. People have got a general good idea of what a backup is, but can you explain it without using the word backup? Here's how you do it. You say you are taking a copy, that is but the important thing, a copy of important files um, or uh, a copy of important files and data, and you are storing them separately. Now that separately word is, uh, well, it can be either separately actually on the same hard disk, so it can be in a separate area of the hard disk. It can be separately as in a different um, device, so it could be on a USB stick. It can be separately as in a, in a different country. How uh, separate they are and how many backups you take of those files, so it depends on how important the data is. So if you're dealing maybe with some schoolwork, you might have it backed up on Google Drive if you're lucky. Um, if you are dealing with everyone's bank accounts, you will have that backed up in several locations across the world. And the general idea is you've got a copy of these files so if those important files are corrupted or destroyed in some way, then you can restore them from the copy. And what I mean by corrupted is that they are unreadable um, and they can't sort of be used anymore. 
Okay, so that's defragmentation software, that's backup software. Another common bit of um, utility software is compression software. Now, I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on this because there's a whole separate video dealing with compression, different compression types like lossy and lossless. So have a look at that if you need to, to understand the mechanics of it. But the main thing that we need to remember about compression software is that it makes files smaller. So it makes those data, that data smaller. Um, and that means that you can fit more, uh, more files on a particular hard disk or a secondary storage device. And it also means that you can send data across the network in a shorter amount of time, in a faster amount of time. Okay, just the last couple we're going to touch on very briefly. Um, antivirus, again, have a look at the separate video all about antivirus, but that just protects you against, uh, what, viruses? So I should actually say anti-malware, that's the phrase that we use now, so that covers like viruses um, as well as things like spyware uh, and things like that. And the very last one we'll cover is that sometimes we we'll, we'll get uh, a firewall, a software firewall, um, as a bit of utility software. And again, have a look at the protection against uh, vulnerabilities video for a bit more information about that. But that just like blocks um, traffic going into and out of the network, which shouldn't be there. And they are all the different types of utility software. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.